Hi, Matthew Nagy here again. I want to tell you just a little bit more about how things are developing with this course that will go on sale this Friday, October 9th. So I taught a sample session of this class over the weekend and I learned a few things about how I really need to deliver the content. So I'm going to be going in and adjusting the week by week lessons so that they reflect something that is a lot more like what I think is going to be necessary. The way I had it set up before has to do with you know, just getting the block drafted and immediately moving on to developing a pattern shape within that. And what I found after teaching the class this weekend was that this is not going to work as well in terms of teaching really good pattern making theory. We'll concentrate on making a full set of tape measures, the height, waist, chest, hip. We'll do all four of those. And then we'll spend the rest of the class session learning about how to make the basic block and understanding in great detail what each of those elements means. The width of the back, the width of the front, the width of the neckline, and what adjustments can be made to create different styles of garments, different looks, different time periods. And I think by discussing that, we're going to really give a much better view and understanding of how the elements of pattern making work with the body versus what you need to do for this specific garment from this specific period. The more that I can teach the theory and the less that I teach make it exactly this way, I think the more versatile this system is going to be for anyone that wants to use it. So I'm gonna make some adjustments. We're still gonna focus on history in this session, but I think it's going to be a much stronger introduction to pattern making. I think it's gonna take people to a lot better places in terms of really understanding what each part needs to do for an individual's body. You know, uh, just discussing things about posture, things about size, uh, things about ease, like all of those bear their own moments of discussion. And I think what I was trying to do with the original setup of the class was to push a little bit too far and talk about those in terms of very specific garments rather than talk about understanding ease as a big topic and what it means when there's less of it and what it means when there's more of it. So I'm pulling back a little bit from the focus and trying to teach an even broader pattern making course that is connected to this very historical system. And I think that in the long run, people are going to get a lot more out of it. And I think that the intermediate and advanced classes will then be able to focus a lot more on very specific types of garments that have very awkward or complicated ways of thinking about their geometry. Uh, so I just wanted to bring that to your attention um, because I think it's gonna make the class even better and it will transform the way you draft even more, especially if you're new to the concept of drafting like this. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing that I wanna talk about is the price. Now I have set the price at $395 for the six week course, but that actually includes one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching time with me. So via Zoom, some other time during the week, not on the day of the class because we need to have time to absorb information and I need to have time to breathe for a minute before launching into lessons and, and personal tutoring. But uh, that's the $395 for the full course with tutoring. And then without the tutoring uh, time, I'm gonna put it at $295. So it's $100 less if you decide that you don't really wanna have personal coaching time or if at that moment you can't afford it. But here's the thing. Once a week, I'm going to have an open room for members of the class. Whether you have coaching, personal coaching or not, there'll be at least one moment during the week where students can pop into a Zoom session that'll already be open, kind of a, a Zoom class lounge where we can all talk about what we're doing, where questions can be asked. I don't want any one person to monopolize the time, so I'll ask that you keep your questions to a minimum of two, and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. Um, and then I will arrange those days depending on where the time zones of those classes are. So I'll have one for Australian people, I'll have one for US, and then I'll also have one for uh, UK, EU time zones. Uh, and that way I can accommodate the three different groups of people. So I wanna talk a little bit about the scheduling throughout the year. For something like a six week uh, pattern making class, I want to be able to teach successive levels. So I want introduction, intermediate, and uh, advanced pattern making, one right after the other, and that enables people to, to 
to take the whole series if they want to. But I'm going to put a gap between each six week session where I teach one week sessions, just single class moments. So I can teach things like the professional knitting lecture or the how to go from SCA to A level pro or, you know, workshop theory and uh, efficiency in the workplace. Those kinds of classes really only need a single two hour session plus Q&A. So I don't need to do a long, uh, you know, a long series for anything like that. Something as detailed as like pads in a garment, like that could go on for ages and ages because every time period has so many different ways that the pads affect the silhouette and what was fashionable at the time. So this I just want to use to just inform everybody uh, that that's happening and also to get ready because registration opens on October 9th and then it closes on October 16th. Um, and that's really important. I need that time to be able to communicate with everyone, to send everyone all the course information and the course materials, answer any questions before everything launches on the 7th of November. And that's when classes begin, is the 7th of November. Now we will have one break because there is a holiday uh, for Thanksgiving and I have to find out what the international versions of that are as well in order to get people all of the information they want at the right time. Um, and I will let you know um, on the day of that things have launched and I will let you know when they're about to close. Uh, so just stay tuned and please communicate with me. Send me an email, Matthew with one T at themodernmaker.net. That is my email address. It is in this email so that you can see it. Um, and just let me know if there's you know, if, if a weekend time slot isn't gonna work for you, just email me. And if enough people email me about a certain time slot, then I'll be happy to move it. My preference would actually be to teach in the evenings during the week, just so that I can have weekends to be a little bit more free and relax. But I also know that many people don't have much free time during the week and that a weekend is the best time to have a class like this. So just let me know what your needs are and, and that will help me give you a better schedule and a better set of courses. So. Thanks so much, and I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to teaching all of you. Bye. Happy stitching.